Welcome back to another episode of Wash Dishes with me. Right, so, um, I usually try and wash dishes at night. I try not to wake up to a kitchen full of dishes, but that didn't happen yesterday. Um, quite honestly, I just didn't feel like it. Uh, so, uh, these dishes remained until the morning. Um, yesterday, I did cook, semi cook, anyways. I had pulled pork left over from New Year's Eve that I had in the freezer. So, I heated that up and then I made a fresh pot of rice and some green beans. The green beans are really good too. So, I did that. Um, we ate and I just didn't cook, I just didn't clean the dishes. And so, yesterday was an interesting day. There was a lot of things happened yesterday. Not necessarily bad things, just that's just the life of an entrepreneur. You don't know who's going to quit. <laughs> you don't know how new employees are going to be. You don't know how some meetings are going to go. Um, you just have to go with the flow. And so, yesterday was interesting. Um, literally, me and my IT business partner uh, were probably pulling out drinks about 345 Uh and so, yeah, that was a tad bit too early to get started. And, yeah, I went to sleep. Well, actually, I had several phone calls. I, and this is not me. I don't spend a lot of time on the phone. But yesterday, I probably was on the phone outside of meetings for about two and a half hours. Um, and so, that wiped me out. And, of course, I was mindlessly eating popcorn and sipping wine. And so, by the time that was over, I tried to do some card on you training uh, but not that didn't happen I kind of fell asleep and next thing you know it was about 9 9 30 last night when I woke up so when I got up um, I was gonna turn the computer on and start working but again I just yesterday was a big I don't feel like it. I was drained so I watched some Netflix I watched the fool me once I think I'm on, I've got two episodes left uh, so I do want to finish that but I may not uh, this weekend because oh I, I may finish it tomorrow. Uh, it is conference weekend, so conference season has started back up for me. Uh, it's funny because last year uh, when we met for our business meeting, I wasn't going to do a lot of conferences this year. I had actually uh, cut it down by about half. Um, however, some things have changed, and I think I need to do more marketing and more conferences um, and just get my name and the company name out there and what we do on uh, some of these other platforms. So with that being said, I am going to attempt to do some video of how I get ready for conferences. You know, people always say, oh, you all over the place. You having such a good time, you know. Yeah, and, and it, that's, that is correct. I do have a good time when I'm there, but it's not all personal, y'all. It's, it's business. And so you've got to do a lot of skinning and grinning um, with potential clients, prospect clients, um, some of them that are your own clients, but those are fun because you've already gotten to know them. Uh, so we are taking one of our clients out to dinner on um, Monday night while we're down there for the conference. So I'm looking forward to that. They're a great bunch of people. Um, so we're looking forward to that dinner. Um, but then you have to put all of your stuff together, all your promotional items. And so one of the things is I like to be creative. I don't like just to have a regular booth or a booth that's got all this fancy stuff in it, which I do like fancy, especially if I'm the one perusing the booths uh, and picking up all kinds of swag. However, when it comes to my own booth, um, I like for it to have something of value. I like for it to be aesthetically pleasing, but also have something of value so that when you walk away from my booth, you're like, man, I'm really glad that I stopped. And it wasn't just because I've got cool swag, which I do. Uh, so tomorrow's conference is actually going to be at Riverbank Zoo in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, and it's supposed to be like 10 degrees here in the morning, which is totally unheard of. Um, I am not one. I don't particularly like being out in the mornings because I don't like getting up early and we'll talk about the 5 a.m. book and my uh, me trying to be a part of that club later or on another video actually and so anyways um, that's in the morning I think I got to be there at like 8 15 to set up and so I stopped by the office yesterday and got all my stuff put into this long suitcase, which you'll see later. Uh, so I've got all my promo items in it. It's uh, Indie Docs, and it's all independent physicians. I'm thinking they're all just in South Carolina, but they could be all around. I don't know. Um, the the guy who's over it, the physician that's over it, hit me up on LinkedIn um, about sponsorship opportunities. 
So originally I had them hooked up with Medipreneurs because I'm on the planning committee and they did a sponsorship, sh sponsorship swap. So they're going to sponsor Medipreneurs and Medipreneurs sponsored them or set up an exhibit booth. Uh, so they just switched them off. Um, I'm hoping several of them sign up for Medipreneurs because that's what it's all about. It's collaborating, um, trying to get more physicians, pharmacists, nurse practitioners, PAs, uh, health coaches, everybody just involved with Medipreneurs um, in innovation and healthcare. So uh, that was the original reason. And then I started to think, my company can also be a sponsor and push this managed care course because I would think physicians would want to know about healthcare. They're delivering healthcare. So I'm thinking they also wanna know about the financing piece because that may help them uh, with their day to days and getting that stuff done. I don't know if that's true or not. I, this is my first time doing a conference that is all physicians. Um, I'll see how it goes tomorrow. But with that being said, I was going to raffle off an iPad. We've done that before at some um, uh, HR conferences, and it goes over well. But you really didn't, we really didn't get any business from it. So it's a learning curve. So I want to be able to have a um, call to action tomorrow that will actually register you for the iPad. So I'm brainstorming this morning. Hit up some of my friends and see if they can help me brainstorm, what should that call to action be? So one thing I was thinking is a strategy meeting. Uh, so physicians also get graded on how their star ratings are because that feeds into um, the insurance company's star rating. So maybe I can help them uh, strategize on how to improve their star measures. And then uh, member engagement, member satisfaction, member retention, all that that we do under Part D CAPS is the same thing that they could do there. Um, the other piece that I was thinking is the managed care course itself. Um, it talks about managed care one-on-one, -on -one, the Medicare basics. It tells them where they can find certain materials online. So I do think it would still be helpful for them. Uh, so I'm going to offer that, uh, uh, publicize that tomorrow, but I'm also going to offer a discount off of it. Um, and I think if you actually purchase the course tomorrow, you may get like 10 tickets into the raffle, something like that. And then the other thing I was thinking of is like collaborative practice agreements. Uh, you know, I did that. I did a pilot last year with a couple of pharmacists through a state grant. And so maybe I could share how successful that was and they may need someone to walk them through it and how that looks. Um, so that could be a part of the strategy session. All right, so those are some of the things that's running through my mind. Um, and it's just tomorrow. So I've got to pretty much get it together today. Uh, if I have to have anything printed, send that over to Staples. Um, uh, I don't know. We'll figure out how it's going to go. I need to go pick up the iPad, of course, if, if I'm going to give that away. I think iPad would be cool because then they can use that in their office for like appointment setting or if they use iPads to hook to their notes or anything, or they could just use it at home for their personal use or whatever. Um, but everybody likes nice flashy fancy gifts um, and so if that's going to bring traffic to my table um, and then once they get to my table it's aesthetically pleasing and I'm offering something of value uh, I should have a total package so that is the plan and um, yeah we're going to see how that goes tomorrow um, a lot of this stuff when it comes to entrepreneurship and marketing is really just trial and error you know what works for one person and what works even for a success for one thing that we did may not necessarily be successful for another company um so you really just have to play it by ear and you also always have to be looking for opportunity so you know what do i have I, this is not an audience that i've looked at before but what can I offer that audience? Does that audience have a problem, meaning the physicians, that I have experience in solving or an idea of how to solve? Um, do I have anything already in my arsenal that I can use to help solve that problem? Um, if I don't, do I have an idea where I can pitch to them and then build it? So always looking for opportunities um, to help find a problem, solve that problem, and then monetize that solution. Alright, so that's where I'm at. Right, so we'll see how that goes. So real briefly about this 5 a.m. club that I'm trying to do. Um, hadn't been too successful this week. I, I hadn't was, actually got up at 5 o'clock yet. Earliest I got up was a quarter to 7 when I was at my parents' house this weekend because I needed to be back here by 9. And honestly speaking, 
I sleep in the room with the wooden heater and the the heat had went out. Like the, the wood had already burned out. Um, and so it got cold. So that woke me up. Um, so I am going to try, not next week because I'll be at the conference all next week, but I am going to try my best um, once I get back from Jacksonville to do more to be a part of that 5 a.m. club. And basically, I'm doing it because this year is going to take, I need massive action to get my goals completed. Um, and everybody gets the same 24 hours in a day. It's what you do with them. Um, so I'm going to try and help maximize out my time by trying to get up earlier. So that's really what the goal of that is. So just like that, I am finished washing dishes. I don't even feel like it was that big of a deal because I was talking. Uh, so that was pretty cool. So that's it for this episode of Wash Dishes with Me.